This time, it is XF1 from Fujifilm's high-end, high-performance brand X-Series. The XF1 repairs the very famous lens control error. If this happens, it doesn't matter if you hit, shake, scream, or pray. I think the function called manual zoom is interesting. However, at point and shoots camera, only Fujifilm has released a dedicated manual zoom camera. Remove the screws, but since there are several types of screw standards, it is better to record which screw is tightened where. The screwdriver is Japanese standard number zero and is the same for all manufacturers. You can only see the screws on the underside of the body. The body does not open even if I remove all of them. You do not have to touch the Y screw on the upper side. Then, what should I do to open the body? There are screws when you turn over the synthetic leather part. Since it is attached with double-sided tape, it can be peeled off by pulling it. If you hold the synthetic leather when peeling it off, you may get creases, so be careful. You can also warm it with a hair dryer to weaken the adhesive strength. When using a hair dryer, do it while watching the situation so that it does not melt the synthetic leather or plastic and does not adversely affect the electronic components. If you intend to reattach the double-sided tape, you can also remove all the synthetic leather. Since it is troublesome for me, I peel off only the necessary parts and reuse it. It is difficult because wrinkles may occur when pasting back. The wrinkles on the human face are proof that they have lived, but the wrinkles on the camera body are awkward. In the case of maker repair, it seems that they all repasted it to a new one because it is a high-end machine. In Japan, the manufacturer repair of this model has ended. Perhaps the manufacturer repairs have been completed all over the world. Since smartphone cameras were still low-performance cameras, there seemed to be demand at that time and many used and junk products are on the market. It seems that second-hand goods are also selling, so models with such a design still seem to be popular for hobby use. That said, it does not contribute to the expansion of the digital camera market, which is getting smaller year by year. Has a large image receiving element and a bright lens, some people who have a nostalgic taste for a retro look prefer to choose. It is a model that is really in demand only by some people. When the screws on the side are removed, remove the screws inside the synthetic leather on the back. This part has a thin part, so be careful. If you do not adjust the force, it will stretch or tear and your motivation will decrease sharply. The creases are also noticeable because it is the part that enters the line of sight next to the liquid crystal. Be careful if you have unnecessary power or if you are short term. All types of screws are different, so it is better to record them. If you tighten the wrong screw, the unevenness will be noticeable when you reattach the synthetic leather. If you touch the double-sided tape with your sweaty fingers, the adhesive strength will be lost, so you should wash your hands before starting work. Actually, it's not good to touch it with bare hands, but many people will find it troublesome. It is best to use gloves that fit your hands perfectly, such as nitrile rubber or PVC, which are used for surgery. I know that everyone is troublesome, so this is just for reference. Unless you are a repairman who takes care of someone else's camera, you will probably work with your own camera, so you can use gloves as you like. Even if your camera is a little clunky, 
you will be at your own risk, so you will give up on your awkwardness. If you're an American in a Hollywood movie, you might get angry with a beer and punch it out with a shotgun. Since there is no small talk, fast forward from here to the removal of the lens unit. Lens unit removal completed. Basically, the probability of problems occurring in the main body is low, so the lens unit is disassembled. It differs from other models in that it rarely uses a minus screw. One thing to be careful about when disassembling is the mechanism that the switch can be turned on slash off by rotating the lens. Since there is a sliding mechanism on the side of the lens, if you do not remember the starting position, the zoom position may be incorrect or the switch may not turn on when reassembling. I think that the slide switch is marked with magic, so it is a guide if you remember to adjust the position when the switch is off and reassemble it. Even when disassembling the lens cylinder, it is complicated except that FPC is attached to each cylinder with double-sided tape. It's a complicated design, so it's easy to break down. Make a note of the disassembly process, the position of the double-sided tape, how the FPC is folded, etc. You will need needle nose pliers to pull out the pins on the way. Be careful as the pin you pulled out is easy to lose. It is 3x speed playback from here. Please be careful about the precautions.
The cause of the failure is that the FPC at the base here is cut off. Almost 100%. Be especially careful when working, as it's a really messy design. Remove the broken FPC to replace the FPC. When replacing with a new cable, it is better not to throw it away because the creases of the old cable and the position where the double-sided tape is attached will be used as a reference. It is especially difficult to fold the FPC of this unit, so it is highly recommended to store the FPC of this unit. Also, be careful not to lose the small ceramic balls in the spring-loaded camera shake of this unit. If you lose it, the lens will be out of focus and you will not be able to focus slightly. Since the XF1 lens is a difficult category to work with, it is better to carefully check the structure and keep a record such as a photograph. It is a mystery why the design was so complicated and easy to break. Now let's be careful and carry out the old removal work. to assemble. Assemble with reference to the old cable. This unit part is the most difficult, so check carefully and assemble. If you fold it incorrectly, the wire will break. If the soldering of the camera shake motor wiring is also done in reverse, a lens error will occur. This lens is second only to Ricoh cameras. So check it really carefully and work carefully. Then, 3x speed.
I will match it to match the magic mark here, but there are times when it does not fit neatly because there is play. If it is left out of alignment, the zoom performance of 25 mm to 100 mm is usually 30 mm to 100 mm or 25 mm to 95 mm. If it does not fit, open the lid, turn the gear on the lid side a little, and then fit it. There is a position where it fits, so please experiment several times. Check the operation of the lens before assembling the body. If the cursor position is not fixed when the control wheel on the back is rotated, spraying the contact restoration spray on the root will usually fix it. If the maximum or minimum zoom position or focus is incorrect, adjust the gear position of the slide switch of the lens. In case of lens error, the FPC is broken or the sensor or motor is reversed.
Since the assembly is completed, the final operation check. I think it's okay because I'm doing a simple test on the way, but I'll test it just in case. Models that do not react during flash filling. If you don't forget to plug in the flash cable, it will glow. It will be okay if it is not submerged. Focus and flash are okay. Repair completed.